Aloha everybody, today we're going to do a recipe in the instant pot for Hawaii's favorite oxtail soup. This is a soup with a lot of Chinese influence that was brought to the islands, and it's a favorite comfort food for many locals in Hawaii. First, you're going to get your oxtails that you can find in your supermarket. This is about three pounds, and I soaked it in a big container with cold water. You're going to soak it till the blood comes out. You don't want the blood in your soup. And it also gets rid of some of the fat, as you can see it floating on the top of the water. People put all kinds of things in their soup. I like shiitake mushrooms. These are dehydrated shiitakes that I put in a bowl of water and reconstituted. And if you're in the mainland and you can't find it, usually it's in the Asian section of your grocery store and it comes in these bags, dehydrated and dried. Once your mushrooms are reconstituted, dump all the water out of the bowl. Now this is the difference between my soup. I think it gives it better flavor. I got a small carrot and chopped it up in big chunks. And I also forgot to film two stalks of celery and also half of a medium onion. And this is a mirepoix and it makes your soup have so much more flavor. I put about three cloves of garlic and one big finger of ginger. And we're gonna put our instant pot on saute mode going to lock in the flavor of our oxtails. After you drain out the bloody water, you're going to rinse off all your oxtails and make sure they're clean. This way we don't have some bloody crud in our soup. And then you're going to season your oxtails all over with some salt and pepper. When your Instant Pot is hot on saute mode, you're going to put the oxtails in and brown them just to get a nice brown crust. It's obviously not going to be cooked all the way through, but you want to lock in the flavor of your oxtails. And as you noticed, I didn't add any oil because these are fatty cuts of meat and they should produce their own oils. Once they're on one side for about five minutes, it should be brown enough. It doesn't have to be crispy brown. Just flip them over. Make sure you flip them and get all sides browned, even the sides of it. And these are pretty big cuts, so you would have to lay them on their sides. And just wait till each side is brown. As you can see, the outside's brown, but not totally burnt, and the inside's raw, but we're gonna put it aside for now. On the bottom are some brown bits, but that's the secret to the flavor. Don't get rid of that. In the empty pan on saute mode, we're going to put about a tablespoon of olive oil. And remember the veggies we put on the side with the garlic and ginger? You're going to throw that in the pot with the oil and saute that mirepoix for a little bit till you get some flavor out of it. When you add the mirepoix, which is the French cooking term for the carrots, onion, and celery, I think it adds it a very deep flavor into the soup instead of just adding ginger and garlic. So that's my difference with my oxtail soup. We're gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper to the veggies, but don't add too much. You don't want it to be too salty. This is what it looks like after sweating it for about five minutes. And we're gonna add two and a half quarts of water. That's about 10 cups of water into the pot to start our broth. All the brown bits on the bottom, you're going to scrape all that stuff on the bottom into our broth. That's going to give the broth a lot of flavor besides the veggies. And if you're wondering, we're taking the veggies out. This is just for flavoring to give our broth a good, nice three-dimensional taste rather than a flat one-dimensional taste. And if you think it's easier, you can put it in a cheesecloth bag to fish it out later, or you can even eat the veggies if you want. Once you've scraped all the good bits on the bottom, put about a half of a tablespoon of Hawaiian salt. Don't put too much because we already salted our meat and the veggies, and that should be good enough for the seasoning. We're gonna put five star anise in there, and as well as about three peels of dried orange peel. And if you're wondering where to get it, you can get it at an Asian store or the Asian aisle of your supermarket. This is what it looks like in the packaging and the dried orange peel is also found there as well. These are raw peanuts you also find in the Asian section. You can skip it if you're allergic but they're classic in this soup. Next put the whole bag of peanuts in there. If you like it you can add another bag. The final step is to put all your pre-browned oxtails back in the soup.
you're gonna close your IP lid and put it on pressure cook. And I put it for about 45 minutes. I like it a little bit tender, but also a little bit firm. If you really want it totally falling off the bone, I would probably recommend 55 minutes to an hour. After the 45 minutes passed, I let it sit for about 10 minutes, or 12 right here, and then I let the pressure out manually. And when you let the pressure out manually, it's gonna let out a lot of steam, so I put a towel over it so you don't get everything in the kitchen wet with steam. And here's the finished product. I'm gonna fish out the celery, the carrot, the star anise, the big pieces of ginger, and the orange peel. If you do like veggies, you can also eat them. They've got lots of nutrients in them. But this wasn't too fatty. Most of the fat kind of soaked off as I soaked the oxtails. We didn't really have too much fat either when we refrigerated it, but you can skim the excess fat off the top. Towards the very end, I added my shiitake mushrooms. Don't add your mustard greens or other things that you like in the instant pot while it's pressure cooking because it'll become mushy. Add them after you're done pressure cooking and it should be fine. And here's the finished product. We always put cilantro and chopped green onion on top and of course it comes with a side of rice. And like I said before, some people like mustard greens, bok choy, or daikon in it. You can put whatever you want in your soup that you enjoy and you can also enjoy it with some ginger and shoyu sauce, which is basically minced ginger with a little bit of shoyu. So I hope you try this very easy recipe to do oxtail soup when you're craving it, especially for these cold nights coming ahead in Hawaii during winter time. And it's a great dinner option to keep you warm. Aloha.